Black Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Black Friday. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulton Henry. And you're watching Building Blacks, where we teach you how to create incredible production, amazing looking graphics using only Ecamm Live and other apps if you want to. But today we are going to be talking all about Black Friday, what Black Friday deals you have over there. You can write it in the comments. We're also going to talk about goals, right? And the goals that you have for yourself going moving into the next year and what will support those goals. So if it is up upgrading your gear, if it is looking, for example, uh, better on camera, what what gear will get you there? If it is sounding better, what gear will get you there? If it is workflows, what apps will get you there? So feel free to share the apps that you use for your workflows and things like that, and uh, see if those are the ones that we also use. And uh, we will suggest some that you can use and see if there are any cyber uh, deals going on today for you. So anyway, er, hello everyone. Hey Wayne. What's up, Wayne? Yeah, and we see a oh, new a new user like here. The intro was bad like that. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> P. Yeah, we, right. Do you know Wayne? We cre we actually went over that. We created that intro using automated scenes. So that is in uh, running your run of show part two. Yes. So we told you uh, taught how we designed that whole thing. Yes. Um. So yes, everyone. So let's talk about that, right? Before we get into it, if you want to talk about Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, you can go ahead and write it in the comments what you ate, how you woke up this morning, you know, all of those things. So I yes. woke up pretty, pretty cool. You know, right? Yeah. I woke up pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Upbeat as usual. Yeah, right. <laughs> high, high spirits. You know, high spirits. <laughs> You're good? You woke up well? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prophetic worshiping warrior good morning hello good morning Happy friday dr omar is here dr omar hola okay oh, we're waiting for it to pop up in ecam but we see you we see you on the youtube side <laughs> there you go <laughs> yes so let's talk about let's talk about your goals real quick we um our building blocks today is very low key. We're, we're not going to be designing unless you want to, you have a question about a specific <clears throat> design and how to make something. We will be happy to cover that today for you. But because it's Black Friday and a lot of people wait for this to get deals and invest in their business or invest in their personal lives, we're going to be talking about that, right? So what, what do you want to do in 2020, 23, 24, right? Because we plan for two years ahead. So what do you want to do? What do you want your production to look like? What do you want your personal life to look like? Because they're both tied in and they both have to be in balance for you to be able to enjoy both of them, right? 
so um, we have, I have a list here for you, as you know, right? I have a whole list. Um, so this is what I have for you. I, um, this is the question that I ask myself, and I'm asking you these questions. Where, uh, where are you now in terms of your business, right? Do, do you, your business, do you want to do um, uh, production? Do you want to increase the production? Are you a coach? Are you a speaker and you want to increase uh, production, create courses, things like that? Like, where are you now, right? Then where do you want to go from there? And then the other question is, what would it take to take you there? Right? So those are three questions that we need to have. And then once we have those questions and we answer them, it might not, the answer might not come right away, which is an indication that if we don't know where we're going, we cannot just be investing without knowing, right? Because that will be a waste of money. And we will not have the time. We will not be ready for it. We will get frustrated because, oh my gosh, we invested X amount of money into this and it's just sitting we hear that all the time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it's just sitting there. It doesn't do you any any favor. It doesn't do it. Just doesn't it doesn't work, right? It's just money sitting in the closet. So you need to find out first where is it? Where is it that you want to go? You know where where you are now, and where is it that you want to go? And then the resources that you need to get there. Mm -hmm. So um, a volunteer, right? A volunteer. Someone would say, "Where are you now?" Hi, Tatiana. Where are you now? And where do you want to go? And then we will break it down like that for you. So, um, for example, for me, I have a huge goal. Personal goal. I own my own business, a photography business and a video production um, company. So I have a huge goal for 2023, 2024. And I broke down every single, every single category of how I'm going to get there. Right. And uh, it's, it's scary, but it's exciting at the same time because I have a plan and I know that I will get there because I have this plan. Right. And when it comes to personal, I have another um, plan as well, because I will like my my physical and mental. My I, I'm going to need to be on top of my game to be able to achieve that goal, which means that I need to be physically and mentally fit. Right. So I have that personal goal as well. And then I have all of those. I break it down in categories. What am I going to need to get there? Right. So um, one that I have for personal is like I wake up at 630 in the morning right now. But because of my new challenge, I need to wake up at 530 in the morning now. <laughs> so it's like these are the little changes. This is the little things that. I have to do to get there and it will be worth it. It will be hard at first because it's a, you're changing, right? But it, it's exciting because the end result is going to be so great. It's going to be so great. So do we have anyone sharing their goals? No, we're Let's still, see. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Um, okay. So mm -hmm. what about you? Like, can, can you share one of your goals or for 2024? Yeah, in terms of in terms of physical, I I did really good this year. Um, you know, I definitely accomplished a lot of goals uh, with in terms of weight loss and uh, and you know and and strength training. So I definitely want to improve with that next year. Um, this I I it's been it's been I would say almost twenty years since I was able to do pull ups and and dips and. Uh, forget running and 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 stair climbing all that stuff like that so i i i've i've been i've improved greatly in those areas and i definitely want to do more of that next year like uh we have a we have a a, a reservation here in upstate where you know there's these steps that were carved by giants from the <laughs> where day, years ages ago right like these steps were made for giants and i remember last year I was not able to like do like one round because like my glutes and everything, my hamstrings, everything would just fail on me and just turn to rubber and I can't <laughs> complete it. Now I'm doing like five, six flights of those and I could do more had had not like the winter uh, months are kicking in now. Right. But I can definitely do more of that. And like it just shows like my progress with that. Mm -hmm. So definitely that in terms of like uh, content creation, uh, it's not so much, you know, for me, gear and like studio and all that stuff. But now I want to uh, fine tune uh, my knowledge of 
video marketing. Video marketing, 101, 201, 301, 401, 501, just all around video marketing. So improve my video marketing skills. So now I can take all my um, my my crafts and, you know, and like put them to better use yeah. through video marketing, right? Yeah. yeah, that is a great goal. And of course, for you, the gear is not going to be it because right. you already have yeah. your gear, right? Mm -hmm. But now that fine tuning that is, I can't wait. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But in terms of gear, what I now, now I'm starting to, <laughs> what I'm starting to feel is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the Intel ecosystem, uh -huh. so I'm definitely going to have to switch up the silicon now because Ecamm, <laughs> <laughs> it was just, Ecamm is just like creating the perfect excuse right. to switch over. So I need at least one because right. I don't have any of that. Like I have like beefed up Intels, but you know, now like for example, this uh, MacBook that uh, I use dedicated for, for streaming. You know, it's it's starting to show a little a little bit of wear and tear. Yeah. Now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Starting to show and and, and, and speak yeah. loudly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean no, the fan loudly. the fan has always been there. Like the fan has always been there, but uh and it's also in terms of like features that we wanna use or mm -hmm. I wanna use with the new four and the beta features like that. Yeah, I, I can't use them on on the Intel. Yeah, yeah. and that's that's great because we're gonna talk about the 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 beta features mm -hmm. that that are coming on the ecam 4.0 which is on beta right now incredible i see a comment from a um ag he is saying that he wants to um he he wants to explore live shopping and then he also wants to expand his video production offerings so ag how are you planning to doing that right so exploring video production offerings like expanding them what do you have right now and why would you like to expand it? What is it that you found and you say, you know what? I The ones that I have right now, I have a hang of them. I know them. I know them. So now I can now I can add this new um, service because I have these other ones down pad, right? So is that where you're at right now? Mm -hmm. uh, and then who was it? So Anthony, Anthony said, just started a new media school within my home church. I want to raise up thousands of media entrepreneurs and YouTube stars. Woohoo, all right, all right. Uh -oh, I got in trouble by Paul. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, <laughs> what, right, right. <laughs> so um, that is great. That is great prophetic. So the, a new media school, that is that is something mm -hmm. that us, because we are in the non-for-profit world as well. Yeah. And that's something that we have been seeing lately. A lot of churches and a lot of community-based organizations want to offer that to um to to the high schoolers and you know the generation coming up because they're the ones who are gonna mm -hmm. you know take us where um they want to go and where the technology is going yeah. so and then they have this minds where they just absorb things so quickly mm -hmm. so that is amazing that is yeah. great that you're into that we would love to know how you're gonna do that i mean do you have already in your church do you have um already a committee that is expanding and, and advertising and marketing for you like you talked about um non-for-profit marketing mm -hmm. and things like that which you're getting into now because there are different ways to do it for non-for-profits mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so are you into that are you looking into that because that is those are the things where it's like i have this goal and these are the things that i need to do and i'm pretty sure you already have that prophetic but if you would like to share it that would be awesome because other people here might be on the same um wavelengths as you are absolutely uh let's see i saw somebody else from who... we, we, okay so uh p i want to be crushing live shopping yeah live shopping is going to be a big thing um, it, it already is even yeah. bigger yeah. thing next yeah. next year um, and and now now that um instagram opened their um api it's going to be even even bigger because now instagram has a, like their shopping thing you can schedule your live streams in there you can go looking lit because you're right. going to be using all of your equipment mm -hmm. and then you can integrate both of them there right you can have links um, that are going to be interactive for you so that you can go on and uh do your shopping so that's going to be incredible yeah and for those of you who are not familiar um there's uh there's uh, stephanie lou has a lot a lot of content around live shopping so you can um look her up and and search up where live shopping is going right uh and tatiana 
I did my first live interview this week. Yes, it was you great. Did. It Congratulations. Was great. It was yes. awesome. Yes. Love it. <laughs> I plan to go live weekly, foster an engaged audience and build a platform. Want to go create communication courses and teach what college should have taught. Oh, okay. Hey, Tatiana, you know what? I mean, I'm telling you. The all of the skills and all of these um, resources available to us now in the ways that we can teach is incredible. These are things that it was only a dream, right? Mm -hmm. A couple, like, I want to say three years ago, pre-pandemic, it was like, okay, how do we do this? How do we do that? And then we found Ecamm Life, right? All of us have that in common, unless there's some of you here who do not have Ecamm Life yet. But uh, Ecamm Life just changes everything uh, in the way we see things and what we can offer. And the more you explore, like, like the more you go into the rabbit hole, the more you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many great things. And all the resources available in Ecamm Life would definitely help you with all of that. And Tatiana, you have... You have done all of that. We have seen you in every, almost every course, every master class, and then yeah, it, definitely no wonder why your life, your first live stream went so well. Yeah. So congratulations about that. Yeah. All right. And uh, Tatiana wants a new Mac and a Stream Deck. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah. To, to use this, to use the 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 new features. Yeah. We're gonna. Uh, yeah. And then okay, so I opened up a, a can of worms. So come on, Fulgence, time to join Apple Silicon team. Uh, <laughs> he, I also need to upgrade my Intel Mac. Yes. Uh, Intel, can't talk to Fulgence anymore. See, I got in trouble with Paul. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, but he had a whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of Macs and stuff. Like, I just got my that's, one. That's, like... that's my thing. Like, my whole uh, ecosystem has been all, like, Intel's, like, the 20, 2020. And then, like, they're all pretty beefed up. Mm -hmm. So I've had, it's been a good run. But, you know, now at least, I don't know, like, um, yeah, because I have two of the Intel MacBooks and then I also have the the Mac Mini, right? And that's pretty beefed up, but that Mac Mini might go and then probably, like, upgrade to a Mac Studio. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah depending on all your goals, like, right? Depending because yeah. for that for you definitely makes sense mm -hmm. to get because of what you do. Yeah. But there are some of you now that you might not, like, the the... Ecamm and the features that require you to get that, you might not need to just upgrade right away, right? Because you might yeah. just be starting. So don't go on like, oh my gosh, I need an M1 right now, I need mm -hmm. an M2. You can still live stream and create amazing pre-recorded content and things like that. Just know what it is that you want to do so that you know if you need right. that feature, right? So you can still be able to interview up to four people. For up to four guests. Up to four guests. Mm -hmm. You will still have that with, yep. with the system that you have, right? Mm -hmm. You you will still be able to, for example, um, you, that would be, yeah, you would, no, the uh, multi-streaming. Oh, uh, multi-streaming, yeah, you don't need uh, silicon for that. It's 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 when you're multi-streaming and, of course, when you're bringing it up to up 10, to 10 guests, guests. Yeah, or okay. anything beyond the four guests. You need the silicon, yes. There we go. Yeah. So you can still multi-stream. So those are the two features, like interview mode and multi-streaming that you can do from your yeah. regular, uh, you don't need to update, yeah. right? So It's uh, Intel, Intel friendly. <laughs> 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 so you don't need to go on, you know, uh, for that. Um, one thing, speaking of, when you need it, right, it's like, hopefully it's not something that is going to happen to you before. Here's what I'm going at. So we have some issues with power and things like that. I never thought about like I have my search protector and I have my computer. So I thought that I was like, you know what? I'm yes, good. I have my search protector. It's beefy. But the power goes out. The power went out, right? So we now I'm like, okay, I need to invest into an ABC system, which is what um, Paul suggested. And I'm looking into, into one right now that is going to cover that PC, Folgence's PC, and other things that we have, right? So it's like when you need it, then you go for it. But you don't go buying it before you know you need it, right? right? Mm -hmm. Dr. Investing. Omar, working on workshops and classes to teach about entrepreneurship as well as launching a podcast to teach Python programming. Ooh, Python programming. Yes, that is awesome. So what do you have for that? What will you be able to, like, what um, platform are you going to use um, Dr. Omar, for that, like, are you using, is it going to be on demand? So are you using a software sort of like use screen or something like that? Or are you using another app that will allow you to do all of these things? What, what are you going to be using? Um, 
Yeah, okay. Stephanie's great. Yeah, she she will. If you are interested in live streaming, you need to know Stephanie Lou, and she has. Oh, yeah, she she has. Um, uh, you go to her website. She has a lot of great information about that in videos, and she also has it on Ecam mm-hmm. as well. Yes, the showrunner series, uh, part one and part two, both available on the Ecam Live YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ag. For me, more like getting gear that can that I can scale productions and be able to handle multiple outputs for live events, as an example. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is where like the the silicon definitely because like now for us, uh, our productions mm-hmm. are definitely <laughs> going yeah. to require. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, at least at least we have an M one right yeah, now. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're yeah, good. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And. I switched from OBS on PC and brought Max just to use Ecamm. Yeah, we, we same, hear a same. lot of yeah, we hear a lot a lot of people with that because it's, it's worth it. The things that you could do, you know, and and the, one of the things also is, I don't know if you guys you know follow uh, the community and the posts and stuff, but the marketing team team at Ecamm and the developers they are so in like intertwined with the community and everything that we need to create great productions and the feature requests that you can um you can request on the ecamm live uh facebook beta group you can request you may uh feature suggestions and they they read it right they go through it even if sometimes they might not reply that makes it to a list yep. so everything that you Add to there, they create a list, and then depending on how many people ask for it, then it goes up on the list, mm-hmm. right? So it's it's incredible software, it's an incredible community. Is is that's why people switch, you know, mm-hmm. for you know, yep. and all of that. Yep. Uh, let me see. Yes, walk into the M light. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's happening. And then uh, Victor <laughs> holding up with my M one. Mini base against you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just like, I'm I'm not going to beef up any silicon. I'm just going to get a basic silicon. And yeah. I'll, I think I'll be good to go. Um, thanks, Paul. I made a bunch of mistakes, but I'll get better with practice overall. It was awesome. That is great. And also one thing, one thing that is, I want to say all of your ideas, all of your goals, all of those great things, they're they're amazing. Putting it right down on paper, writing it down on your notes, however it is that you need to write them down to keep track of them. But let me tell you, please do not underestimate the power of hiring a coach. I mean, like, consider that. That should be in your budget. However you can make it, even if you have to stretch your budget a little bit more to be able to complete that goal and get you the like the boost that you need for it you you just consider it like really really i would say even before buying equipment you should have a coach so that because they will help you organize your thoughts your ideas where you're going with it and give you a roadmap for you to follow it so after that it will be up to you and then you will be like okay yeah i need this i need that and i need all of this and then go from there because it's coaches are worth it. They're mm-hmm. so worth it. Mm-hmm. And and we have tons of them in the community. I mean, we are coaches. We have Doc. We have Stephanie. We have what Sally. We have Kirk. We have Alec. And we have tons of great tons coaches. Of coaches. Tons of great coaches yeah. in the community. So you just have to find the one that you resonate with, mm-hmm. which is very important. And then go ahead and explore their options. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And also in the Ecamm Live community, the, the Ecamm Live Facebook group, there's also a section with where you can pick mentors, right? So mm-hmm. the mentors is a, big, a good way to see who's there, who's available, as, in addition to, uh, you know, getting to know them and seeing if they'll be a good fit for coaching or ongoing mentorship. mentorship. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because there, there are so many great things that you know you can have. If, if it's you, for example... Um, prophetic worship warrior you uh worshiping warrior like you can anthony. okay so i have anthony okay <laughs> thank you anthony okay so anthony's like okay i want to do this and and you have your team maybe your team needs to have someone who is going to teach them one you know one of one group whatever how to do the production for you so that you can be not be the one all the time unless you want to be that person all the time and then do remote production where they could be at one location and you can be at another and then that can be expanding their you know can be expanding their the yeah. offerings yeah your offerings 
uh, my approach is to first support the vision of the church, but then go beyond that and into the community. I am a, a pastel, apostolic and prophetic at the core. My bias to church, including myself, will evaluate. Yes. Good. Yeah. Uh, Victor, be careful with battery backups. If you don't know already, this was made for short-term power to allow mm -hmm. time to turn off devices properly. Yep, exactly. That's mm -hmm. a, that's all I wanted for it. That's mm -hmm. all I wanted for something happens, pick it up, and then I can right. shut down. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> when that power went out and my computer, my camera just and shut camera off, just, and yeah. the camera just went, I'm like, oh my gosh, please. So then I went to check the camera. The camera's like, don't touch me. I'm, I don't I don't know what you're saying right now. And I'm like, listen, baby girl, listen, let's talk right now, please. I would, I, I had a conversation with her. She was just looking at me, and I'm like, well, you and I right here. And it was scary, right? I don't want to go through that moment again. I really don't. So I just get that power to give me time to sh shut it off, all of that stuff. And then her and I would be good. Like, <laughs> we, we had a conversation. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know it's the day after Thanksgiving, but never too late to express gratitude. And I'm thankful for you on Unfulgence and the Ecamm community because I felt supported and have been uh, made so many skills oh you're so you're so welcome and we're thankful for you we're thankful for you because you have been you are you know you have you're an example right you have followed everything we have seen everything mm -hmm. that you have done and and you support the community and all of that so we yes. love having you in the community as absolutely. well yeah absolutely Ballad Ballad vibes. Vibes. Hello. happy day after thanksgiving thanks for sharing after all that food, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we had food. We, we ate. We ate. Mm -hmm. But like, I didn't eat overly because I knew I needed to wake up and I needed to have energy. So I didn't have like like all the things I could have had. But today, I might just have all the things because we have leftovers. Leftovers are great. <laughs> Paul is part of Doc Rock's Drop Squad. The monthly one-to-ones with him have really helped. Yes. yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, by those, all means. Those are the things yep. you know that you check, you brainstorm with others, and 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 see what they think. And you know, Doc obviously has a plethora of knowledge, right? So he will be able to guide you to where yeah. you want to go. If if you know if that's your style, there are other styles and things like that. And that is, you know, I would just say over and over again. Because one, I've been there. I chose a coach, and I invested in this coach. And I, it wasn't in my industry. So he wasn't versed enough to let me know what the things, right? He, he was amazing at creating courses, but I didn't want to create a course, right? So mm -hmm. that was the thing. So you need to, you need to make sure that the coach that you choose, one, the personality matches, because you will be talking to them all the time, right? And uh, also that the way they teach is the way you learn. Right. So you got to make yeah. sure that that and the only the only way that you will know this is not by seeing them online and things like that, but by actually having a call, a private call where you will have your goals already written down. Because as coaches, we like to know what you like, where you're going. And if you don't know where you're going, at least you have an idea. OK, I would like to elevate my production and I would like to create a course. So I want to create my price list. Right. <laughs> Create my price list is a very, very important thing. Um, and then we know where you want to go. We mm -hmm. know you have an idea. You know you have a drive. And then you have to have the time. Because sometimes we get, at least when I get um, students who want to go somewhere, but then afterwards they don't put in the work and they don't do all the stuff to me. It's like, okay, I could take your money all you want, but I want to see you succeed. So when you're ready to invest your time on this because you are over here. So after I give you something to follow up on, the next meeting, I do want to see it. So if I'm not seeing it, then you're not into it, right? So it's, it's that, that I, I want to see you go places. So that's the thing. Make sure that when you sign up for a coach, you have the time to spend in there and commit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the information. I was not aware of the mentors. Yes, definitely, uh, definitely check out that that, that list. Uh, AJ, I'm glad you came across it. I I've mentored quite a few people, and uh, you know, it could be something as simple as, "Hey, I need help with this one thing. I'm mm -hmm. going, uh, I'm going through hell trying to get take care of this one thing in ecam or Audi or something like that." Yeah. Boom, problem solved, right? Or it could be something that's ongoing. So, like, once the problem is solved, now, oh, okay, uh, how about 
you know, uh, you know, now I need graphics on my show. I need right. to learn about interview mode. So, you know, you can create an ongoing relationship with with your mentor. So exactly. that resource is available for you inside of the Ecamm Live Community Facebook group. Yeah. Yeah. I have gotten calls that are emergency calls. Like I have mm -hmm. a show tomorrow and now my audio doesn't work. I'm like, <laughs> OK, don't worry about it. First thing first. Right. Let's this is going to work out. Let's do this, you know, and then we go on and take it from there. Yeah. But things like that, just make, just yeah. go to the list. Some, the some, list some simple things. Uh, yeah. um, DJ right on beat. What's going on, DJ? Good to see you here. Hello, Parker Jennings. Good to see you Hello. here. Uh, Dr. Omar Ekam for the free teaching Zoom for the paid classes. I can build my own platform, but maybe Kajabi or other platforms for the course building. Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So those, those things. And those are all in steps, right? as they come in but that is these are great these are great goals and these are the things that once you know your list and once you have your your um, categories of this is what i want to do this is what i need you it will be easier for you to then because at that point it's just a checklist right so you're just checking okay let me get this let me get that i got this now once you get that for example you're talking about a, a customer um relationship management and the crm and you're like, okay, now I got this. Now I have to learn this, right? So you have to mm -hmm. you have to remember that you get an app and that you have to have the time to learn that app. So for example, you get Kajabi, you gotta have the time. So you gotta, when you're making those plans and you're saying, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get Kajabi, make sure that you have the time. Yeah. Make sure that you have the, the instructors, for example, right? So there are many instructors in our community that know Kajabi. One of them being Adrian, the other one is, I believe, Alec knows those Kajabi as well. Does does Alec those Kajabi? Are Alec, Alec, Alec knows everything. <laughs> but he, he, I think it was, I don't know what it was, but it's one of them, right? Either you screen or Kajabi. And then uh, you you got to have the time because you're invested now and then you have the time to work into it and all of that great stuff. So that is what's important, having that list. Yes. Yeah. Paul will probably know what, what it is. And then speaking of Paul, right, we have a... Um, a post in the community where um, you can, if you have something that you're offering, add your link in there. But Paul um, has his, his um, course there as well, his his series, where he teaches you about moder mo um, having um, moderators, right, and training them. For example, um, Anthony, for that, when you're ready for that, you're going to need moderators, especially with teenagers and the way, depending on, on how you are going to implement this, whether it's going to be on site or it's going to, they're going to be having their, you mentioned YouTube and all the things like that. So there's a list, especially for young, you know, uh, the young kids, there's a list, a blacklist that you need to follow and all these things. So then Paul's course might be something mm -hmm. that you might write down <laughs> for when you are there then you have your resources right. already there. Uh, so Paul says, Alec is going to be introducing a Kajabi masterclass soon. Okay. Adrian also has a Kajabi Academy. Okay, so so they're both the Kajabi. So they're, mm -hmm. of course, Kajabi is a course uh, like for on demand and all those great things, right? So that is, that's pretty good. Okay, so yeah. what, is, are, is there any app? Is there any apps that you guys use? Where are the apps are you using right now to create um, graphics, right? Besides Ecamm Live, to create graphics or to um, create videos if you are pre recording and then later you are adding things, you know, what are the apps you use? For us, we use, I use Final Cut Pro for editing, which we're going to have someone on ENN who is going to talk about that. And um, I also use Envato Elements. I use Envato Elements for. Uh, graphics and like call to actions and things like that but and i incorporated with ecamm you do that as well for mm -hmm. your production mm -hmm. stuff yes and um what other app well canva of course right, right? we have canva mm -hmm. um epidemic sound and epidemic sound has a great sale right now so you got to check it out and um yeah those are the main apps that we use did i miss anything well, i mean we have notes and yeah. keynote mm -hmm. and but outside of the Apple ecosystem we have we use those. Yeah. And uh and I definitely want to use more of Genially uh this year because Genially mm -hmm. took me by surprise and uh I love I love I love it. And I love the all the interactivity that you can create in there and mm -hmm. I love how it stands out from uh Canva, right? Because like at first you see like okay, all right, um 
you at first glance, you'll probably make that assumption like, okay, this is something like I can do in Canva, but no. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm not going to go well, such to as, such as creating a thumbnail. Right. Okay. I'm not going to go to Genially to create a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Right. I would go to Genially to create a infographic that, you know, is interactive where, you know, um, you know, uh, let's say it's a thumb like we, we're here. Right. And you can actually click on my you're on mute thing. Like it's like an animation where you can click on the you're on mute and it'll take you directly to the ecamp store or a video will play right there. And just like just all these interactive elements. And can you um, show it? I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> you don't I, want to do show because we're here. show and tell, but it, it is genuinely is, to is go actually to a course here and, and do a whole genuinely demo. No, but, you're not. But that is pretty cool because especially if we are doing uh, all of everything now is interactive, right? And the more if we can click, because it's buttons, right? We like clicking buttons. So if we are on a screen and we can click something, it's going to be more appealing to us than just looking at a plane. Uh, Let me graphic. see if I can find the inspiration community. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we have Uno Overlays. Yes, Uno Overlays Uno are overlays. great. Hello, mm -hmm. David. Um, okay, so Victor uses Ika. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just moved I'm, your you, mouse. You, you assigned me <laughs> to a mission moved, here. I'm and sorry. then like, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, Anthony Campa is the most I agree with you. Uh, Uno, okay. Ecamm for editing combined with Final Cut. Yes, um, we have. Okay, uh, Peter, we will get to your question. Can we? Can we quickly favor that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So go go to, go to your thing. I will. I will stay on top. Let me see if I could find something. Um... So we covered genially. We had a, a whole a whole presentation actually with one of the genially uh, team members. And they cover everything that could be done. And they are very affordable for the things that it could do, the app does. Mm -hmm. So, and it's something that is different. It's something that, for example, just like Foljans mentioned, okay, we, we, a lot of us use Canva. So we can use Genially for something different than we use Canva. And it will look different because we're all in the same circle. So we all always see kind of like similarities yeah. in, in the signs because of it. So using something additional, different to supplement that yeah. might be good all right so i found i found a couple here so let's go over here <laughs> michael jackson timeline let's, let's, just, let's just click on that just because this is michael jackson right so we haven't seen michael jackson in a minute or anything michael jackson related right <laughs> uh, so this is look right so this is a timeline right so 1971 and this is all this is vertical so this is pretty cool too yeah. so this will look good on the phone right so mm -hmm goes over to Jackson 5, then, uh, you know, it's like a mini, uh, what's that, uh, microsite, right? Mm -hmm. So I think this is pretty cool. That and then the animations, cool. and also it gets even more immersive because when you click here, show interactive elements, it's not just the timeline here. Now you have, right, so a photo file could pop up here or a video yeah. could play right here inside of the presentation itself. So I love that. And then if you go here, right, so timeline history of cars, check this out. Mm, right mm, so mm. you know cool animations i haven't seen you know something like that in a, in a presentation before let's see here look at that yeah, right so that is pretty the cool. first hybrid car appeared in japan 1997 yada mm -hmm, yada yada mm -hmm. so let's click on 7 2013 so that's cool right it's just it's something different yeah it's something different yeah um, definitely and right? but I, so i really like the michael jackson timeline and the yeah. way it shows and that is vertical Right. Yeah. And um, my favorite thing that really got me hooked up is like all these different types of games uh, <laughs> that you can create here. Right. So it's just so much like there's this there was this uh, cool RPG where the character is like walking around and let's go to game over. Uh, down, where's game down, over? Down, down. This one. Oh, OK. Like. Uh, yeah. Like Space Invaders type of thing. Does, right? does it come with the music? Some of them do. Some of them do. Uh, this is the inspiration. So. Um, right now I'm, I'm not hearing anything, but some of them do come with, uh, have music already there and you could add your own also. So I think that's pretty and cool. And you can interact with a little, with a little airplane or whatever Let's see is. what's interactive here. So this here is supposed to sh be shooting, but I don't know. But there is one here where there is one with the spaceship and it moves around and you could shoot stuff and like, you, basically it's like you have to pick, pick, uh, the correct answer mm -hmm. and it'll, you keep progressing, right? Let's so, click on the Lego quiz. Lego please. quiz. Yeah. 
and some of these inspiration, some of these templates, you know, they, they're well mapped out for you. So you can just go through them and see if you like them. Right. Okay. Um, and then some of, some of them, you might have to like play around with it. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't yeah, even know that's the correct cool. answer. Okay. Yeah. Just stuff like that. Like it's different. Yeah. It is definitely different. And I love the level interactivity yeah. and there's so much you can choose from here. This is pretty cool for educational. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Genie is big with in, in the education sector. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So that I mean, that is that is great. That is that's all you know. Another app now that you can. Well, not now. We covered it extensively on one of our shows. In uh, it's both on Anna and Fulgen's mm -hmm. YouTube channel as well as an ecam, mm -hmm. and you can find it either places. And yeah. then we, you can see all of them. We and... actually had a promo for. it. Yeah, uh, we do have a promo code Anna and Fulgence. Promo code Anna and Fulgence for thirty percent off. However, right now Genially has a fifty percent off uh, Black Friday deal. So that is pretty awesome, mm -hmm. right? So there's the prices here. Uh, those are actually the markdown prices. Those fifty percent off. So right mm -hmm. now the master plan is as little as ten dollars a month, and you, so everything you could you could play with Genially access all the features for free. But then to be able to like use like your uh, uh, do use the presentations without watermarks, uh, to be able to share uh, the presentations, to be able to um, get your analytics, you will definitely need them. That, that's where you get the use the master plan for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is those are those are great those are great things. Those are the apps that get you going, right? The, the apps. So I I like it. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So yeah. So um, let's see what we missed. Okay, right there. So we're gonna go to Peter. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Listen to you like, let me clear my, let me clear my throat. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a longer, it's a longer cue code. <laughs> Her just speaking about remote production. I would love to use Ecamm to be a remote producer behind the scenes. Who does this training in Ecamm? Fam, any tips of working with presenters and their tech? Mm -hmm. We do it. Yeah. We definitely do it. Um, there are other members in the community that also do it. I want to say most of the mentors in that list can help you with remote production. Because actually, Peter, remote production, yeah, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. But basically, it's just you bringing the guests in, for example, or bringing a production in or sending the production somewhere. So it's, if you already know Ecamm, you already know how to remote produce it there are just a couple of things that you need to keep in mind before actually doing it and it's all about practice and things like that but to answer your question um we do it and also the um, in the um, the mentor the guide. mentor the mentor guide also has it there mm -hmm. uh hello david an option to highlight the cursor in ecamm would be a great feature for screen share oh that's cool yeah because uh i use the pro mouse but sometimes you know pro mouse can be very pro mousey, <laughs> but, but uh, <laughs> that'll be a, that's a cool that's a cool feature. Yeah, it is a cool feature, and and we have to we have to cover before we end the features that are in uh, 3.0 beta, mm -hmm. which is beta 16. 4.0. It's uh, 4.0. Yeah, I'm sorry. 4.0 is 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 incredible. That just reminded me of David. Just reminded me of the screen share interaction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is amazing. Uh, streaming software is surprisingly more efficient if robust enough like Ecamm Live 4.0 and beyond. Thank you, Paul, for sharing the Black Friday links for Genially. Uh, and and What's up? Honest Recruiter saying hello. To Anna. Honest Recruiter. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, David, is there a way to see the comment pop-ups before you go live? And how do you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. How do you Let's do demo that. Oh, actually, we can't. We, 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 the, the way you see the comment pop up uh, before you go live into a test is to do a, a test stream on your own, right? You can test stream to a private page or to a group, a community that allows you to do that, and you can test the comments there. Like, it's good to do that mm -hmm. because this way you can actually uh, brand them, right? So, how we can, you can sometimes, you know, you could do it live too, but. Uh, that's how we, if we really want to, for example, if we have a production going on, mm -hmm. we're going to want to uh, make sure like the comments appear the way we want them to appear. So we're going to do a private stream, a private test stream, and then you can go on that stream it's yourself and test the comments there. 
and then when they appear in eCare, you can you can uh, manipulate them from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the best way to do it because otherwise you would um, you have to wait till you're live because you you need to be live in order to um, adjust your comments. Yeah, sometimes we have saved the comments, but it's like to work with them. Yeah, but it's just to work with them and see how they're gonna be placed and things like mm-hmm. that. But we try changing it, we try customizing them, and as soon as we go live, it defaults back to the last yeah. one. Yeah, so you need to be live in order to like you know reassure that your comments are set the way you want them to to be. Um, so I think it's a two part question: How do people deal with comments in meeting Teams, Google? Um, so the the comments for eCam, if you're referring to eCam comments, uh, you know they all are for YouTube. YouTube has comments. Facebook, uh, um, I believe Twitch comments come in or they come in through Restream. But for Teams and Google and stuff like that, you know you're using your virtual camera uh, in eCam. But if somebody sends you a comment there you're going to be uh, using the, the, the built-in chat, the built-in chat function in a Zoom or built-in chat function in, in Teams and Google. So that's not going to transfer over to the Ecamm comment. So hopefully that answers your question. Or you do a screen share if the comment, I mean, actually, no, because Google, yeah, you can do a screen share on the Google comments or on the them and bring them in and just have them there yeah. on the screen with you. Right, if you want them to be on the screen itself, mm-hmm. right. use your screen share overlay for that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which is going to be great because in 4.0, you can interact with them. Yes? Because um, it's com- if it's coming from Google, it's a, it's a web. Yes? I, I'm, I'm not too sure. Because it's, um, a, it's, a, it's I a mean, web if it's, can... if, yeah, I, I think so. I think you can. Yeah, like if it's, a, if it's, if it's coming from the browser. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It's, but you'll be able to click in them. Enlarge them or do whatever. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Google uh, meetings and things like that to mm-hmm. bring them in, but I would assume so. Yeah. Great question, David. Tatiana, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, Tatiana. Um, okay, we have another question from the Honest Recruiter. Can I attach music from my stream deck to a scene? Right now, I can only do a built-in Ecamm reaction. Attach music oh. from my stream deck. So no, like from your stream deck, if for example, I'm looking at my our stream deck now, and if we have a sound effect there or a song there, we can play it, right? But you can't attach it to the scene. So you would have to take it from the sound effects panel, right? So if you have songs here, we can take that and just drag and drop. I'm an- So that's how uh, that's how you attach uh, music uh, to your scene. And to the stream deck, it will be the same thing. So in this in the stream deck, there's uh, um, a code that says uh, play music or play sound, mm-hmm. and you just assigned that sound to it. So we can we can show it Let to you. Show you right yeah. now. We're not uh, on demo. No, hold on. Just setting it up first. Oh, <laughs> set it up, cuz. Set it up. Set it up. Uh, where is it here? So on the ecam play sound right mm-hmm. so let's go back here into demo mode so here in your stream deck you have play sound so we take that and then we bring it over here so now we could basically select which so basically it's going to pull up your sound effects panel and you pick which song you want where's dynamite If it was on Boom. mine, I can find it very easily. <laughs> it's, really. it's, the, it's the same <laughs> list that got transferred uh-uh, over no, from the no. profiles. No, no, but, you know, I would thing. have moved it. I would have moved it to Oops. today's thing. That's not what I wanted. So let's go to Dynamite. And then now we could just rename that, right? Rename that Dynamite. Listen. <laughs> hey. Dynamite. Boom. There it is. After several tries, it All works. Right. So I now know. we're gonna press that button. I'm an- All right. I'm an- Bobby Ray. <laughs> so oh, hopefully, hopefully that answered your question. Yes. Oh, uh, Stream Deck is so great, and I wonder if Stream Deck has a sale today. I mean, Black Friday they have to have El- a sale. Elgato. I mean, right, El- Elgato. Yeah, El- Elgato has sales. Uh, uh, sure has sales for for their mics. I mean, they're on that list mm-hmm. that Paul added to the um to the comments. You have that there. 
Uh, I'm looking to for it to autoplay as part of my intro. So yes, so you have to attach it to your scene just the way that we showed it to you, right? So if we go here and we go, I'm a dynamite, I'm a right? So now let's go back to screen share, it's not playing. But the moment we go back to comments, I'm a for you, AG. <laughs> I'm a And uh, you can I, also assign the same thing. You can also assign sound effects to them. So yeah. if you have the sound effects that are already default inside of Ecamm, you go ahead and use those. But if you need a new sound effect, then that's where you go to an external um, library. It could be YouTube free, copyright, copyrighted sound mm -hmm. effects. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to Envato and get those sound effects from there or any other app that you could use that is okay for you to yeah. use it, right? Yeah. So you don't get... Yeah. Strict. So that's the that's you know, and I we we do the same thing. We have intros here. So like we have the building blocks intro. There's a there's a song attached to that. And you set it and forget it. Mm -hmm. So that's how you do that. Uh Anna with the new snap finger dance. That's, yes. that's what I was like, it's snap for finger you, AG. <laughs> for you, AG. Yes, and then uh you can also do advanced settings uh and do multi-action for the stream deck as well. Uh, so David says, thank you. That makes sense. And yes, I haven't thought about the interactive white pages. Nice idea. We're going to we're gonna show you the interactive widget coolness that oh Ecamm gosh, has. Oh my gosh, for real. Wait, um, wait till you see this, David. Richard, enjoy your weekend. Bye, Richard. Enjoy your weekend. Have a Thanksgiving weekend again for you. <laughs> uh, what major disadvantage do you see by remaining only in the Apple ecosystem? Besides having to spend more money. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Anthony. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't have any disadvantages. I don't know about this. The Apple. Yeah. We're Apple biased here. <laughs> yeah, Anthony. But if you have any, hey, share them because it's good yeah. to know both. You know both sides. But I, I don't know. And one of the things that I'm really, really enjoying that I, I just love it. I don't. I. And I gotta tell you, I probably did it by accident, or it just came standard with. Because I haven't updated my iOS yet. Like, mm. I haven't updated my iOS or I haven't updated my um, my iPhone, right? Mm. So, um, I can copy something from the website, from any website, and then I can paste it on my phone. I can, I get that. Right. Was, I'm like, yo, it was by accident, as usual things happen. And I'm right. like, okay, copy this, paste it. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I've been I've been doubling on that. Okay. That is great. So that is an advantage. Yeah. Sorry to say I can't find a disadvantage yet. Right. And now everything Anthony's all so that was a trick question. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> we answered we answered it well. No, but like for um. real, like, like okay, let's share. What cool trick have you found? Like the one that I found. Right? That you can just love and you cannot live I mean you cannot live without after you found them. Do you have one for Apple? Like that, I found the the basin cutting basin. I said, I'm in the, I'm, in, I'm just in the ecosystem. Like a basic across all devices, period. Right. Yeah. So that's everything. So with, from the phone to the iPad, you know, with universal control. Like, but it just it's, happens it's just hard to me. To like I've been doing I, that. I, I, I use a I use a a PC for just like work purposes because you know the. The organization was built that way. It's built on a PC platform, right? And then, you know, some people transition over to Mac, but everything exists on PC. And it's only for that, right? But right. when I go back, when I switch back to PC and I'm like, I have to do work there, I'm like, mm. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> Right. I don't especially even know. you do it remotely and, and doing it remotely from the Mac. Uh -huh. You know, you could just, you just see the difference. I don't know. It's like, it's once you go to Mac, you just can't go back. <laughs> Once you go Mac, you don't go back. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. So honest. Okay. Oh, for Paul. For Paul. Hi. Here we go. What do we have? Uh, what's the Victor saying here? Not only in the Apple ecosystem, I use PC as well, and I'll even bring my window. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's awesome. It's like I mean, uh, the 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 Mac will always take precedence. <laughs> I mean, like that, 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 in like the text to image to text. Oh my gosh! I'm like, okay, I see this. Even from our own things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have it written here. So because I write a lot of my stuff on paper, so then I just like did it, and I I, I took a picture on paper, 
it, it oh, yeah. almost it's... worked. It almost worked. It was too, too messy, but I bet because it wasn't script for me. Yeah. But I bet if I would have written it uh, non-cursive, yeah. it would have probably picked it up. I, uh, I'm AI pretty sure PC has crazy. some cool features, but I don't even care to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good to know both ends of the things, but once you're in the Apple ecosystem, there is no reason to go to PC mm -hmm. because at that point you have everything. And you know? then, and then, um, in 2020, right? So I had my options on the table. It was either, you know, continuing work on PC and doing productions using uh, using vMix, and you know, I was like, okay. All right, let me. I, I could I could learn this, mm -hmm. right? But then I was just introduced to Ecamm, and then it's like Ecamm actually like pushed me to just go all in on the the Mac ecosystem, mm -hmm. right? It, and it and was, then you feel all bougie too. It. I mean, it does yeah. create the not you it, like all right. of us like it, all of us who get apples be, afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> that could be the word for it, but I don't know. Bougie Ecamm, or e excited. after Ecamm, Ecamm was like made me go all in on the the. The Apple right. ecosystem. Yeah. 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 And like my P my PC has just been collecting dust. Imagine the things that you will find back in there if you go back and dig oh, in. Oh, man. I don't even want to turn it on. <laughs> it's probably going to take a day and a half to turn on and reboot and all these things like that. And that's what I don't, that's what I don't like about them. Because like even when you're buying budget PCs just for just to get day-to-day -day work done, after a while, it just, start, it just starts to wear and tear right away. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Like these... Look how long I had this Mac, right? This this MacBook, uh, since since 2020, and and I'm telling you now it's just starting to show little signs of wear and tear. Mm -hmm. But even the wear and tear, I'm talking about like a little beach ball, yeah. right? I'm not talking about like oh it's taking long to boot up and all this mm -hmm. and like that. It's still going, mm -hmm. right? And it is it has plenty of mileage left on there. <laughs> yeah, Apple just works. Period. Yes. <laughs> done right yes. yeah i mean i'm seeing the conversation i believe that you guys are having about downloading yeah about our uh, vibes i do now i wait i wait and i wait and i waited and then i wait again and then i hear Fulgens complaining about it and i'm like oh, still not time and then it's still not time then afterwards the one thing that is awesome right about ecamm is that you can have a, a, a better version going on separately than the standard version so you can have it you know separately and do your testing and all your better testing on that one and then the other one you have it for if you want to because also you can go live on the beta but but for me i would not recommend right if you have a production and all these things remember that's still in beta even though it's, it's good right so that's what um for me that is my my thing uh q colon from david is there an easy way to resize an image or camera linked overlay on the f no uh you have to resize them that is on the top of the feature request uh, list to be able to like group things and resize them oh, together okay. all at once but right now you have to do it manually even if they're linked uh they won't resize together yeah. in a group so yeah. you have to do them one by one yeah that is that is on the list though like they have they have been working on that but yeah not yes. not yet when that happens though Equip Institute. Hello. Hello. Good to see you here. Good to see you here. Okay, so um. And yeah, Victor is, has Macs from 2010 that are doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real, if you use them for a specific thing, right? That's that's that. Um, one, I don't know why that just reminded me of one investment that I'm making, besides the APC system. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm buying so many external hard drives i was i was going to invest in a solution but then i travel so much and then we travel a lot so i'm like okay i'm gonna have one one large one that said one like like 15 16 terabytes and then i'll have additional ones and i have it color coded by company so i have uh my branding for one for brand for my photography business one for the production business and one for customers like I have them all like that, and one for family too. Have them all nicely, and they're so so small. You know they're so small. It's like okay, how I'm stacked up. I got a case for all of them too. I did that while you were sleeping. Ah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I want to show some um, Amazon stuff. But Equipment Institute says I've learned a, a ton watching you both. Started live streaming in October. Oh, nice. yeah! Congratulations. Yes. What is your live stream about, Equipment yes. Institute? I love uh, taking the leading edge on all the new possibilities, valid vibes, 
Anthony settled. We are Apple because we are quality. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Victor says, if you take care of your gear, yeah, yeah, that's that's what it that's is. It'll sure. just keep on just going. Like a car. I can't speak for the PCs, but for Mac, if you take care of Mac, <laughs> it'll keep going. All right. So, uh, have did you get any of these? I didn't get any of that. I get. I got the um because I I got five. Mm -hmm. I got five terabytes. And I got, and I actually didn't get it from Amazon. I got it from BH. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, B and H, I believe the prices are the same right here for mm -hmm. the Sandis uh, SSDs. Yeah. Right, and that is a that is a really good. Thing. I mean, every Black Friday or every, or every Cyber Week or whatever, yeah, these things go on sale for that. So these yeah. are really good. And I know Doc highly recommends this this version as well. Yeah. So I got a sixteen uh, desk on the desk. Nice. Uh, yeah. Sixteen terabytes. Oh. I'm gonna be lit. I'm gonna be lit. I'm gonna have that there. I mean, it's it's uh, I I yeah, that'll be that's that's awesome. And then I can just carry on with the other ones whenever we travel. Yeah, whatever. yeah. Go Going to get my students to watch this video. Awesome. Aw, thank you, Anthony. Um, um, okay. Paul, just keep in mind, streaming is the most processor intensive program you will run on your computer. That is right. Yep. yep. That is definitely right. You know what? What would be cool? And this is something that I'm gonna like. Samsung T7 drives are also good. Okay, let's look it up. What were you saying? Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Victor. I'll I'll look into that. I'll look into that. The thing is, like, I mm, I like to have things in my hand. <laughs> Like I like to write, have things in the hand, but that is a great idea because then you can access it from everywhere. So you're looking for the the Samsung. Oh, look at they look cute. <laughs> they look cute. They look cute. They look, <laughs> they look like like a mat. <laughs> they look like a wallet. How big are they? Ah, uh, let's see here. Look oh wow! It, yeah, yeah those things are like super wallet. super tiny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that actually looks really nice. Yeah. I like I like this one. This 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 beige tan looking one. Look at two 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 point three inches. That is that is a, that is a business card almost. Yeah, size. two point three by three point five. Yeah, that's a the high school senior portrait. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty awesome. Thank you, Paul. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, what about what about habit? Let's see. Make sure that we don't miss anything. But what about apps, right? Because we talk about when we ask that question that what apps do you guys use? Did we talk about that? Because because there are a lot of apps um, on sale now. We it's, we did because we covered. That's when we went over um, genially. Yeah, but I want to um, know what they're using. There was a uh, we were talking about Canva. It was mostly Canva talk I saw okay. here. Yeah, and rightfully so. Yeah, Canva's great, but I'm just, in terms of workflow right. and things like that, because you know you have to, for example, what are you using to um, to organize your email addresses if you are collecting email addresses for your business in terms of uh, lead magnets or things like that? If you're a coach and you're sending your what your courses are going to be about and when your live stream is going to be next, so that you can get your viewers to come and view. Do you have any of those apps? Like, what do you use? Do you have Calendly? Do you have like things like that? Things that are because they're on sale right now. There's a Black Friday sale, so there are a lot that you can get for fifty percent off. Some some have even seventy percent off. So think about all the things that you will need because you can give it a try. And if you know if it's not something for you, then you know it. You didn't invest like it wasn't full mm -hmm. price. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. And in the meantime, we said that we're going to. Oh yeah, real quick, it's already showcase the. We over here like Black the, Friday. The play in window feature. With, oh, uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. The merch store is has fifty percent off ecam, right? Fifty percent off all the stuff. They have some new gear in there, and there is coffee. Ian and coffee, and this coffee is so nice and smooth and delicious, and it will give you a little bit of energy, uh, almost as high as mine. If you don't drink like coffee. You probably get it higher. You know what? So that that will be. Hold on. So we're gonna copy and paste. I'm copying paste merch.ecam.com. Command C, and 
we're going to go back into Ecamm over here and go into demo mode. So you see, right, this is the screen share, right? We can't, of course, manipulate our website over screen share. We got to go over to our window where the screen share is taking place and, and, and go over here, right? So we have a blank scene. We have a blank scene and we're going to create a widget, new widget. And this will be called this merch store. Ecamm.com slash beta coming up. <laughs> Merch.ecamm.com. We have that there. We add widget overlay. Right? So you have this website here. But now, if you check. Enlarge it. Yeah, we're going to enlarge it. All right. <laughs> so right here, there's this toggle right here. And this is going to allow you to play in window. So let's, let's zoom out. And then we can make this full screen. And then we're going to toggle that this little plain window thing here. Boom. Check this out. Bye bye screen share. At least at least for like, you know, certain web pages and stuff like that. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like now we're on the ecam side. Right? And you and don't have just... to go to the se to the second monitor. You can stay straight yeah. into it. And look at this. So that ecam wait, is that suede? It's not suede. It's not suede. Oh, um, it looks like suede. Let's see what the description is. It is cotton, ring spun cotton polyester. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still pretty cool. I, I, that, that's a nice, that's a nice color it's sweatshirt really nice. design. It's really, it looks nice. Marigold Heather. Yeah. And you have, and you have 50% off. You know, some, something, okay. I, of course we have the menu here, but like if I wanted to go back is this is this what this one does? Oh, that's so dope. If we wanted to go like back a page, right? So mm -hmm. you just hit the, the back arrow here. That's what that one is. But um I love this hoodie. Yeah, this that is hoodie real, is this nice. really good. It's a nice but, color. But but this is it. This is the 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 widget play in window feature. Yeah, and you can do that on any website. Any website. Any website you can do that and interact mm -hmm. within Ecamm. And um so Victor, 50% off. You better get it in. Get it in. <laughs> get it in, my brother. Because that's, that's some good coffee, as you already know. Um, okay, so we have a question from Equip Institute. What was the keyboard shortcut to make that screen full? Oh, like to go into uh, live demo mode? So for live demo mode... To we... make the screen full screen. To make that was it to, full was it when we went to live demo like this or if we to make the website full screen maybe because it was small and then bam you went full screen and bam uh just cla just clarify for us uh, because if over here on let me see on here there wasn't really a keyboard we just scroll to zoom so if okay it's unlocked right hold on let me just untoggle this. Right, so just scroll to zoom. It's a, is that what you're referring to? So that was that. But let us know. And we'll be happy to help. Yeah, so we covered a lot of great things. I, uh, I'm i going to... Um... But the one where when you shared the URL in the widget. Yeah. Yeah. Not live demo mode, but the one where you shared the URL in the widget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that was yeah that's that was basically. So let's go back here, and right. So once we create the widget, it wasn't full screen because it was kind of like this size, but it just scroll to zoom, or you can or, or you yeah. can drag it by the drag it by the its ears. <laughs> 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 like, like I used to get pulled by my by my ears by my mom back in the day <laughs> when I got in trouble. Oh, sure. Right, and then you you just scroll to full screen. But also too, like when you want to, uh, you know, do the play in window feature, uh, make sure you have everything locked in place first, and then you can turn on the toggle, so you can interact with it this way. And once you do that, you can't resize the window anymore because. Uh, you know, now you're actually controlling the web page. So if you want to resize it, you got to uncheck this and then you could have access to that again. Hope that helps. Very cool. Here goes, we have, um, 
Awesome. Yes. Uh, David says, I find it easier to place a search engine as the default web page scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That it does. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is... There's so much you can do with, oh, with this new feature yeah. now. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, yes. And get the, the new beta at ecamm.com slash beta. And you can Oof. also join the beta Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash ecamm live beta. Yeah, because they're, they're, you know, the, the users are, are testing and you can, like, if there any a, a new update in the beta, a new, um, you will see it there. You will you get all the information yep. about beta in there, in yes. their group. That is not on the regular Ecamm group, right? Because there is everything about everything else related to Ecamm, but the Facebook um, Ecamm Live beta is everything related to beta. So that's mm-hmm. where everything will go in there. Yeah. Uh, so the person uh, being interviewed cannot control like what we're showing you right now. They have their feature in interview mode where you can have them screen share. And then from the screen share, they can control any web page or any application they want. Right. Mm-hmm. Just like how you have it in Zoom where you are a guest in Zoom and then the, the facilitator grants you either co-host features or screen share features. And then from there, you can share whatever you like. So Ecamm has that in the interview window. Mm -hmm. I think that was it for the questions. Yes, you guys. So I am going to continue Black Friday shopping. (laughs) And, you know, things have changed so much because I I, I went Black Friday shopping one time, and you actually shared how you used to go Black Friday shopping, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but like I used to, I just went once, and I didn't find it that enjoyable. It was too much going on, and I was like, you know what? But so then, when things changed, and online shopping became the almost the norm, and things were made easier for the end user to shop, I was like, okay, this is my jam right now. But do you want to share what you used to do? So the Thanksgiving, th- right after Thanksgiving, my family, with my, my sister, my cousins, my brother, we would go to uh, go th- the mall, but it wasn't as busy. So after Thanksgiving, we'll go to the movies, right? So whatever movie was playing, we'll go to the movies. And then by then, it was like after midnight. So we would hit up the mall and probably go to Macy's. But it wasn't crazy because, like, you know, there's some places like Best Buy, where uh-huh. there were lines like mm-hmm. wrapped around the building and Best stuff Buy. like that. Yeah. I didn't touch Best Buy. We went to like the Macy's and stuff inside the mall. It was pretty okay. Not, yeah. It wasn't like uh, like crazy foot traffic, but it was so cool because it's after midnight <laughs> and there's all these people go in the mall. It's like it's like a party going on. Huh? How old were you? Oh, this was like a few, uh, like what, 20 years ago? 20 yeah. years? Okay. Yeah. All so. Right. Yeah, 20, 15, 20 years ago. Okay. I only did it like once or twice. Uh-huh. Yeah. But that sounds cool. fun though. And we're trying yeah. doing it. We're like, let's be <laughs> yesterday, you guys. We were like, let's be adventurous and, and go watch the movie. We were that, like, didn't <laughs> that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Because it's like, what do we want to get? I don't want to get any clothes. I don't want to get any I want to get nothing. It was just like the experience of going to the movies and then going checking out people trying to shop. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. We just fell asleep. <laughs> we just passed out. This is gonna be for a a, a ten thirty p.m. showing. Of oh, we're gonna and watch it was and it was like nine o'clock and 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 already tired. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like after all the food, it was a good. We have a good thought. Yeah, the, yeah. the thought was was fun enough that it's almost like we went. <laughs> <laughs> We in our minds. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. So I gotta. I'm. I'm gonna check out more. More things uh, yeah. for my. Yeah. Yes. For and my the, list. The ecam betas are very very stable. Mm-hmm. You know, we we're just talking about the Intel. So I am on the Intel. This is not a M anything. This is an M zero, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it beta is running very smoothly right now. We also use it on this same MacBook on Ian and on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, no issues. Yeah, no the, the, I I do feel like with softwares and the you know beta and thing the beta or or regular software where things might might be a little tricky is because 
certain apps have not been tested yet because it's just been out right so say you have a, an app where that app up, updated their software in but then the beta version has not talked to that software yet because it's not at that point yet that's where things might happen right on any app on any app and because that has some has happened to me where i updated something but then the other software wasn't updated this was not ecamm this was another software i had a hard time with it just every, they just didn't work because they were not connected yet so that was the only thing that for me i'm like okay i'll just wait until all the apps that i use have been already tested with the software and i start <clears> testing it myself so i start testing all of them with the software and if all of those apps work for me then i'm like okay cool let's go but if one app is giving me trouble i wait and i wait and i wait and, and right. especially if there's another option right and then for those of you not familiar, as Paul mentioned, the beta is a separate installation of Ecamm. Mm -hmm. So you have the ability to switch between beta and public version. So as Anna was just mentioning that, I took a screenshot of the of the, the doc to show you. I'm just going to drag and drop this here. Right? So as you can see, we're on the beta. And there's Ecamm Live native right next to it. Right? So you can basically switch between any of them at any time. Right? Can't run both at the same time. But you can, you know, get off the beta and hop on the native at any time you want and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is that is great. And just like Paul mentioned, um, the, it requires uh, the M1. For so certain for certain, for certain some features, new, new yeah. features. Yeah, for certain features. Right? But just like we talked about, if you have just still for guests, still, you know, all of those great things. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even know. Is the widget going to require the M1? I don't know that no. yet. No, right? no, because so, we just, oh, like we just your, yeah, right. Doi. This is okay. A, this is an M zero. Yeah. It works on the M zero just fine. Don't, don't even say M. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so a, everything that we're doing right now will be supported with yours. Right. There is a. There is. Let me just go into preferences here, right? So they, it will tell you exactly when. So in addition to in addition to the the ten guests situation or going beyond four guests. Here, right? So when you when you doing your uh video iso this is where record isolated video tracks requires an apple silicon mac so as you can see mine is blanked out right even if i uncheck record over broadcast i'm not gonna have the options to mess around with here but i but what what i'm not gonna do it now because we're live so i don't want to mess with it but i do have the option to check off record isolated audio tracks because that's always been a feature um, whether you have an M1 or not. So I have that feature there, but here to, uh, play around with record isolated video tracks. Nah, nah, mm -hmm. not happening on the M zeros. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's put, let's put the equip Institute, um, uh, comment right uh, up. Florence. Florence. Okay. Thank you, Florence. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So for apps, I would say take, take time to catch up with OS upgrades. 30 plus years in IT world in the Ecamm beta is the best I've ever seen or used. Like, yes, yes. So, so um, you should join, if you have not joined yet, the Ecamm beta group, because we would love to have you there. We'd love to have you there for testing and stuff like that. Yep. Um, okay, do we have anything else? No, Paul is making fun of me. <laughs> 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 yeah, so um, I'm gonna my my computer is gonna be souped up. I'm looking. I'm getting a chair also. I'm getting a nice chair because I was sitting. Yeah, now we're standing a little bit more, but yeah, sitting down was creating some issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your yeah. back hasn't been hurting that much. I've been standing up, and I don't have a this. This is a this is an art desk. Another time we'll show it to you. Uh, where it's on like this, you know, it's it's a glass desktop with uh, these wooden stands and they're like these pegs that you got to remove and you got to elevate everything and put the pegs in place. So this is not going anywhere. So I have no choice but to stand. <laughs> if I want to sit down, I need to have like a tall chair or um, remove everything off my desk, remove the glass top, remove the pegs, lower it, and then put everything back. I'm not doing all that. So I'll just rather stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I asked you if you wanted me to get you a standing desk for Christmas. Yeah, it's not necessary right now because I'm fine with this, you know. So that's not a priority budget, mm -hmm. right? So it's, yeah. is the M1 is a priority budget? I, I'll, 
pretty sooner than later, that, that will be more priority than me having a desk that can elevate. Elevate, right? So if I if I it's like, oh my gosh, I really want to sit down, I'm gonna do what I need to do to take all the stuff off my desk and then lower this and you know sit and sit my behind down. But I'm fine. I you you, you just get used to it too. Mm-hmm. I'm used to it now, so. Yeah, lift yeah. desk. It's like I have, I have one. I, I love it. It gives me an arm workout because I have the one that cranks up. You have so the, hus- like, the husky. I have the husky. And yeah. I was like crunk. And I'm like, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> and you know also what I like about this one too. So you know it's like the husky, the death. It's just like a little yeah, narrow. Yeah, yeah. This one here, we'll show it to you another time. Like there's some depth to this desk, yeah. right? Because, uh, for example, we have the keyboard right here. And the MacBook that we're using to monitor comments in our program window can't even reach it, right? Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, uh, what would this be? Like three feet? I would say like three feet. Probably three feet? Or two and a half. That way? That way? Three or two and a half. I would say two and a half. It could be almost three. No, it three. could be three it feet. It could be yeah, three, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It could be three. Yeah. That way, yeah. That way, yeah. That way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have you have nice space. Like mine is 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 it's narrow, not, but at the same narrow. time, I'm okay with it because if it was wider, you liked it. You're very organized and things like that. And like for me, I have so many things. I just want to see my my desk plain. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see anything on it. Fulgens leaves a pencil there, and I'm like, can you move that pencil? Like I just need to have everything clean so that my mind can kind of be just like yes. And sometimes the other desk, because it's like that, makes it look like it's crowded. When I have a monitor out in the microphone and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. but yeah, but this one is this one is pretty yeah. good. Um, and I have a, speaking of microphone, mm-hmm. I'll talk about that in a few. But Anthony says it's beta testers' job to professionally play with the new apps, and why since 2016 I've had Ecamm Live Pro has been free for me. So much fun, nice, yeah, very nice, yeah. The OG OG Ecamm OG user. Ecamm is, is like. Since 2016, the changes, right, Anthony? The changes and improvements that has happened ever Paul since. Paul is sharing his desk. You know, and I, oh. I want to, you know, if I could pull up my desk, I could. But, like, it's an old school Ikea. This is from... That is quite, nice, like, Let me Paul? show Let's show Paul's desk here. Paul, do you nice. have a chair? How does the, the, the tray work with your chair? Do you, does your chair have, like, the arm rest? Because the chair that I'm looking at, I'm thinking about, I'm not sure because my husky has the drawers. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if the desk... Oh, like if the arms are going to like uh, right. clash with your... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is That cool. is nice. And the, the very budget friendly. Mm-hmm. That's nice. 48 by 24. Really nice. That is nice. And desks, especially since we're sitting down all the time, they are very, very important investments to Let make. Let me see if I could find... Um... Oh, you bought this oven, in Ikea? Oven. Yeah, it's a Ikea. I don't even know. Because you know Ikea you has... Ikea? has Ikea? Oh. They have some like weird um, names and ways to like... Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to find it. Uh, Ikea. Art well, desk. how long ago did you purchase it? This was a while back. So I, would say, I would say probably like... 2016... Something like that. Um, if they still have it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, David. <laughs> okay. I think. So I click on the link, and of course it disappears, right? So it's something like this. Let's go back. An IKEA electric. It's this, right? So this, these are this is the base that I have, and um, but it looks skinny though. N- no, yeah, I mean not the desktop, but the uh-huh. base because oh, okay, I had to okay. I had to purchase the glass top separately. Oh, right. I see. So th- it doesn't come with that. So this is like the standard version, but this is what I have. This is the base. You have to remove the pegs, and elevate. Right, so I have it on the last peg because I can have it as as tall as possible. Remove and peg, <laughs> and and then the glass top. But the glass, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure sh- they might still make the glass top, but oh, hold on. Here we go. Is this it? Nope. Yep. This is still Stinky. just basic stuff, but I have the glass version, but this is, this, this is my base here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so where, Ant- no, David was asking if you can set a scene as a transition, like a singer, you can, 
add transitions to a scene like a stinker transition yes you just have to make sure if you want it to be alpha meaning transparent in your video just make sure that you download it being transparent so that you can see other than that if it's a movie and it works right for you can bring it into the scene and once you come into that scene because it's going to be in your overlays panel right. <laughs> and once you come into that scene it will transition right and it looks so good too right yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so triggers and then and then make sure you set it to hide when done. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Or, or do nothing. You, or, you... or do nothing. Meaning, it's a movie, so you will have options: loop, do nothing, mm -hmm. hide forever, right. or things like that. So you do do nothing. You right. select do nothing. Right. But why? Do I think, you have a transition? I believe no. I don't have a transition. But what I believe the hide is doing is it's the eyeball, right? So the overlay will still be on your screen. Mm -hmm. So for example here, uh, so David's comment is still on the screen. And so if you hide it, it's going to, it's going to slash the eyeball and just hide it. Right. Because like, if you still have it there, mm -hmm. if and you want to interact with your, your scene, mm -hmm. the then overlay, it might it. still be in the way. Yeah. So I usually do hide this way. Mm -hmm. I don't have any, um, problems with that. Yeah. You have any confusions? No confusions. <laughs> uh, Paul has an arrow chair. Paul's chair has arms. It just lowers the chair and it fits under, underneath the desk. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is great. All right. So we have. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then. Um, I just I'm going to look into it. it. Okay. And P has an uh, IKEA electric and loves it. See? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the thing. Like a lot of people look for tables and I had a hard time finding tables and I was looking everywhere. So it would be cool to just have all of these I tables ideas for people. Yeah. So we have the IKEA electric, we have poles, mm -hmm. we have yours, mm -hmm. we have mine. That is a great selection. Yeah. Different varieties. Yeah. And chairs. Can can you set this as can can this can you set this as a default? What are you referring to, David? The the transition. Yeah, they are. Um, they are Anthony. Anthony's saying that I don't. I I didn't see typos there. Um, Anthony, maybe it was something all all up. So you are all good. Way to go with reading it right. Okay, because of your typo, you see, we didn't see it. <laughs> we just read it. The brain is something really yeah. cool. I am not an Ecamm employee, but my relationship with Ecamm has been incredible. I have never in my years of life worked with a company that cares for their customer like they do. It's, it's 100, it's, it's 100 all of the above. All of the above. It, the, the, the company is, is incredible. It, it will stick by you as, you know, I, Yes, for everything that you want to do, all for its customers, for everything. Always doing something to help the community. Always, Absolutely. always, always. Absolutely. The scene as a as a transition. Once you set it, you forget it. That's right. it. Done. It's just like adding an, a, an animation, uh, a sound to it. Right. Every time you come back, <clears throat> there it is. Every time you come back, there it is. Yeah. Um, I, I, I had downloaded on. some really you great know, transitions. We have the, but let's say let's say the confetti was a, was a stinger, right? Okay. Um, I mean, bum, if we can bum, use bum, it. Bum, 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 bum. Hold on. <laughs> no, see, it's uh, yeah, it's uh -huh. more organized now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's... Oh, who did that? I didn't want to hear anything. Okay. So, so uh, uh -huh. but um, Ecamm graphics. Let's go here. No, it's not here. I organized it, but I don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just search for Thanks confetti. Again. Hold on. If it's named confetti. Videos. There it okay. is. Oh, look Let's at that. Sure oh, that, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let's just make sure it's the correct one before we drop it in there. Okay, this one, right? So, all right. So, boom. Right. So, we dragged and dropped this in here, David. This is a confetti, right? And then if we go to here and we come back here, every time we come here, it's set, right? So, it's set to just automatically play. When yeah, we, a transition won't take that long. I mean, right. you know. You yeah, can, this like, is confetti. It's just taking time to like blow with the wind and all that good stuff. But then you have these options here. Once it's done, uh, as Anna mentioned, do nothing. Hide temporarily. Hide. Stay hidden. So if it's do nothing, if you look over here, 
if you look over here, right, do nothing, it's still there, right? So if you need to interact with your scene, so if I need to like move your comment around or whatever, I can't do that because Try moving it. it's still in the way. No, now see, I'm moving the right. So I'm saying I'm so moving, you can show them. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving the overlay itself. So I would have to once it's done, and especially with like a stinger because the stinger is like I believe it's gonna take place over the entire screen. So hide, stay hidden. So if, or hide temporary. Let's try hide, stay hidden first. Let's go back here and let's do that. Let's see what hide, stay hidden does. <laughs> <laughs> And then, boom, right? So now check this out, right? So it, it hit it for you automatically. So if we come back, because this is set to, right? It's set to hide, stay hidden, right? So if you go back to here, and then we come back to here, it stays hidden. So we don't want that. Or you might want that. You want it once, that's, that's what you do. But temporarily, hide temporarily. So let's just reset the room. Let's come back in here. Boom. High temporarily. So high temporarily, then you can interact with the screen. Right. So it's going to hide it for as long as you're on, this, on the scene. No, actually, it did not do that. It's still there. High temporarily. It didn't hide it. Interesting. Hide and stay hidden. Hide and stay hidden will be the best way to go. But if you or come just back don't to do this, anything, right? You, do nothing. Or do it manually. Uh -huh. Or do it manually. That's the thing that'll be the best thing to do because if you want the stinger to be there every time, right? So I, so do nothing will be the best thing because once the stinger transition is done and you want to interact with your scene, mm -hmm. do it manually. So here, because if we do this and come back, huh, but the thing in the the thing is, oh, to think about though, actually, David with his thought provoking questions. Yeah. Um, the thing is about it is that you will now put a transition into a scene where you're going to be interacting with it. Because mm -hmm. then it's going to be on top. And if it's hidden, like you want to, you want to have a show that's clean for you, right? So if mm -hmm. this is like this, have the scene there and just, you know that you're not going, going to bring comments there or anything like that. It's just going to be a standalone right. screen. Anything that's underneath the stinger, you know, you're not going to interact with it. You're good. But anything mm -hmm. on, uh, if you want to interact with anything on top of it, you might run into those little things. But, but, that's or let's see some no hmm? i was gonna say let's, if we put it under it's, it's gonna be hidden it's not gonna show up no could it, we? let's no, try it let's because, drag it all the way no it, it should be fine right because let's say you have let's say david's comment was a lower third right yeah so let's say this is our lower third here and then now we're interacting so the stinger comes in but then the stinger is going to appear underneath the lower third you would have to touch this I'm gonna touch this. So yeah, so just drag, just drag the the um transition below the comments or below the thing that you may be interacting with. But if it's a background or like if you move it onto the background, mm -hmm. then you know it's not gonna show up. But then again, now too, if you do it that way, so if you have um, let's say you come into a scene with a stinger, mm -hmm. uh, you wait for the stinger to finish doing its thing, and then you bring in your lower third afterwards. Because it's up, it's playing underneath the, the graphic. All right, so there's different ways you can do it. Yeah, but I've been yeah. dragging it down on the, the where the scene that you're not going to be using, I think that will work. Because then that way you don't have to worry about hiding and hitting and all of that. That's why I usually do nothing. Do nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Usually do that. Awesome, David. Glad that helps. <laughs> now we're going to go and check it out, David. Like, what's your YouTube channel or whatever it is? We're going to see your, your transition. And be like, oh, did he get it? Honestly, this is what we do. Like, we are we creep on you guys. Oh, like, uh, all of you, when you have, like, oh, there's a show going on, stuff like that. We're like, oh, let's see. Let's see. And then we're behind the scenes cheering for you. A lot of us are. You don't have to clean up the confetti. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yes. Yes. Kudos, yeah, Paul, kudos to Paul. Uh, Paul for Paul. Yes. That is awesome. You guys, so what are you going to do today? Like, what are you going to do today? We're over here. It's already 1130. We're just chilling it. Right. And how did you enjoy your, your non-microphone experience today? I love it. I mean, I hear myself, my voice, like, dissipating when I come over here. But it still it's sounds fine. fine. I, I'm okay with it. I'm 100. I, it, nice. It's just like, because every time I was like, okay, I have something... Usually you will be like, I want your voice to be deeper. And I'll be like, I, it's, 
you know so long as you guys can hear me i really don't, I don't think, mind I think, I think it's i think it's good especially for you we have a we have a shotgun right there right over by her right over here and it sounds really, really good. It picks up your voice very well, especially in this room. So this room is a lot smaller than on a studio. There's carpeting in here. Like there's literally no, nowhere for sound there's to like no bounce glass. bounce around walls and all these things like that, except for this glass here, right? Yeah, but, but that's that, But that, that microphone is like way, very distant from, from the glass. So it sounds really good in here. But we've tried that in on a studio. It's just, you know, it's not really treated like that and it's mm -hmm. very hollow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound as good, right? The moment we turn that thing on, because it's a condenser, oh my gosh. Just want to turn it, you just want to turn it back off. <laughs> 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 yeah, but this one, like, yeah, I definitely I'm I'm good. I, I don't have to worry about because I love the lapel mic that I have from sure is awesome. The sound is incredible. The thing, the only thing for me is like I have to select the outfits I wear. So that it's easier to put on and all of that stuff. So that's the only thing. So something I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear this thing. I know that I will need to use uh, the shotgun mic, or if I use this one, I now I can use a lapel and sound a little bit more like yeah. closer. But yeah. yeah, that's that's the only thing. No, but this, but this, is cool. this works. This works really good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here, Anna. You were getting ready to say that you downloaded some transitions. Where did you download them from? I think you were talking about Envato. Yes, right? I was talking about Envato. I downloaded some transitions. They look really, really good. I just have them on my account. Mm -hmm. But um, if you download the transitions, just make sure if you want them to be transparent, that it um, is on the Alpha channel and they will say it there and then you will have it transparent. So this is Envato Elements. In Elements.envato.com. Com. And they and have a great <clears throat> cyber sale, you guys. Oh, and then I was going to say, <laughs> this is where I downloaded this confetti, right? So you have Alpha Channel confetti. There's a lot of other versions there, too. Mm -hmm. But this one is pretty cool. So yeah. that came from Envato Elements. Uh, Victor says, I'm going to play on my computer, eat and watch cartoons, and <laughs> anime all day today, just like yesterday. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to oh. buy some camera lenses. Nice. Which ones? Which ones are you going to? Um, buy AG. Oh my gosh. Where is um, the mentor guide again? You know what? Oh. Hold on a second. I can pull that up for you guys. Ecam Live Community. <laughs> Go to the guide right there. Oh, yeah. Guides or. I don't think it's in the guides. I think it was on the more. Um, yeah, because we're, move, we're moving. Paul, do you know where Some they moved? Some stuff got moved around. Yeah. Paul, um, I think is I think it might be under um under under guides. I think it's under guides. You just have to scroll. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So, we did some uh, searching around, but. So where is it though? Under um, where? Because that's yours. Yeah, yeah. I think it's under guide. So go if you go back, because I don't think they will move it. So go to go to guides, and then just scroll down. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, keep it scrolling. 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 Keep scrolling. All the way to the bottom to see where is that. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Don't see it. What if we do you search the community? Yeah, but it's going to take me to my admin mentorship thing. Oh, because thing. you're signed in? Yeah. So there was a link there, but it didn't help. Oh my gosh, Peter, we cannot owe you that. We will owe you that. Yeah. We'll find it. And we will we will add it to the comment section. Yeah. We'll add it to the comment section. What about people? Let's see. <laughs> There's two people. Members. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. that's a that's an admin thing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I I think Peter went to Facebook and he was actually looking by himself yeah. and then he didn't find. It. He's like, you know what? Yeah. Let me ask him. Yeah, a lot more. Um, a lot more has been added to the uh, community. What about um? Hmm? What about featured? Featured? No, those are featured. Those are pin posts. What about what? the three dots? 
three dots right here. Uh, Paul, I think Paul found it. Oh, okay. But wait, where are they? Here is the wait. Is no, that what it is? The BF. Hold on. The Black Friday. No, that's oh, the that's Black, the Black Friday. Friday list. Okay. The Black Friday. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, we have to we have to do some uh, some digging around to find it. Paul wants a new Mac Studio. He's beginning to think he has added me to the blacklist. Santa has. I keep asking Santa. He he over there helping you out. <laughs> keep asking him. Listen, where where in the world did it go? Now I'm like, okay, we're gonna owe it to you guys. We're gonna put it in our. Right, because I don't want to share. Um, hold on a second. So if we search in the Ecamm Live community and then we search for mentorship. And Peter, you might have to just do that for the sake of time. Uh, just do a search in the Ecamm Live community and search for mentorship. And there will be a, a post from... What um, if you click on sign up for Ecamm Live I, mentorship? I, I, I did, but remember, it took us to the, the back end for admin. But it will work for you as a member. So go into the Ecamm Live community, search for mentorship, and you will see a post there from India Delgado. Right. And then at the bottom here, sign up for Ecamm Live community membership. So that's where you'll be able to access the Ecamm Live mentors from there. So there that's should be the, another one, though. So right now, as of right now, yeah. you can just you can use that. And that that link there still works and you'll have access to uh, the current members. What about who if you are just mentors. logged out? I don't know. Listen, <laughs> I just want to figure this out right now. That's but that's the link right there. What's up, Todd? Good to see you here. Hello, Todd. Um, okay, so AG is going to pick up a couple of Z-mount lenses for my new Nikon Z camera. Listen, good for you. Yes. Team like, Nikon. which one, though? Which one are you getting? Are you getting, I mean, depending on your setup, but what are you getting? 50, 2470, whatever, 35. What are you getting? Um, okay. Awesome. So, <gasps> Paul, Paul found Paul it. Found it. Yeah. Okay, so both on the Indian one. Yep. Oh, is awesome. it taking you to it? It is, but you know, uh, what what I see, what we see here in our end, they're not gonna see all this information. They're not gonna see the insights. They're just gonna see. You'll have access to the mentor. So, um, let's go here. Boom. Right. So here's where you search for your mentors, and you have you can start a conversation with any of these lovely mentors. Today. Wait. So go back to mine. Why do we? Why are you in the background? I don't know. I don't know what you did. Why is? What is that? Oh, because that's my cover. So that's your shirt with the oh, food. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. too funny. It's pulling up your Facebook stuff. Okay. If, okay. So right. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change it now. <laughs> it's just showing your chest. <laughs> oh my yes, gosh. But this is where you'll find all the mentors. Yes. And if you want to be a mentor yourself, you can go in there and you can apply to be a mentor. Absolutely. Uh, and then Paul found another link. Let's okay. see if that's the same one. I'm going to click on that. Yeah. So now, the, so the, the one where Paul says use this, that's going to take you directly to where we just showed you. Yes. That's it. Thank you, Paul. Yes. Thank you, Paul. And you won't see all of this situation here because... Yeah, we're not showing that because um, that's like insights and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Awesome. Yeah. Nice things to do today, you, you all. Nice things. Yeah, I think we cover everything. So so if I would say something for you to look and try would be that mentor. So, so Peter, good for you for looking into that. It's just finding yourself a mentor depending on where you are right now and where you want to go. And just have that ready when you seek your mentor because they will ask you questions. They will ask you those questions. Where are you now? Where do you want to go? What have you done? Um, you know, what kind of equipment you have? If it's if it's going to be live streaming, which it will be, and or video recording and things like that. There are different things, different uh, workflow in a way that you will need to know if you are pre-recording content or if you're going live. There are going to be different things and those things your coach will go over them with you depending on your where you are at where you want to mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. future plans and things like that yeah so yeah. i will say just really 
think about that before you if, if you're serious about say going to the next level in your business and uh making it a business or uh increasing your reach things like that do you mm-hmm. have right. a coach in mind and uh i believe most of us here who are mentors on the on the page like we we cover like you know what we're our expertise is in and stuff like that so mm-hmm. you know just definitely take a look at the bios um and it'll let us it'll let you know what everybody is good at or what they're offering you right. in terms of ecam live mentorship and sometimes too it it goes beyond ecam live stuff too so mm-hmm. you know definitely yeah. take a look at that and, list. and check out their, their work check out their profile <laughs> check out what they do yep. check out all of that see if they're the whole thing because the way their stuff is and the way our stuff is, is pretty close to what is going to be for you because mm-hmm. it's the same creator. Yep. Doing that. Yep. And then, you know, if you don't get a response right away, you know, there's plenty of mentors to scroll through mm-hmm. in there. Yep. Yep. Awesome, everyone. Yes. So we're going to be live on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Ecamm Network News, and we're going to be um, uh, uh, showing you the winner, which Todd was here, Todd Christmas Clutter, uh, who designed our Vlogmas uh, logo, what I want to say, right? Logo graphic. Yeah. 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 And we're going to show you that. It's, it's great, right? We're going to also show you a couple of things if you're, you know, continuing in your path and getting your things ready about uh, if you're going to do the podcast and if you're going to do video podcast and then things like that. Uh, YouTube just put out a great list for podcaster. But even before that, there is a leap into podcasting from Ecamm Live that happened this year where we covered everything from A to Z, everything that you need to do to start your podcast. And it is on sale because it is 50% off from the store, merch store, and it is in the merch store. So if you are thinking about implementing something like, you know, in podcasting or even increasing your podcasting uh, views and, um, and, and, and reach, that is what you should, I mean... It is an incredible, incredible, it was a two days full of everything mm-hmm. great that yes. you need to know about podcasting. Yes. So if you're thinking about it, it was podcasting, video podcasting, platforms, workflow, um, graf- uh, graphics for your uh, for your uh, mm-hmm. promotional mm-hmm. assets. Co-hosting. Co- yeah, every- everything. Cover everything. And that planner also includes the 2020, uh, the 2020, 2021. 2021 20, Actually, 2020 and 2021. Yeah. 2020 and 2021 leap into live streaming sessions. Mm-hmm. Leap into live streaming boot camp. Yeah. They were great, great speakers, everyone. Like, it was it was a great, great job. It was a great two-day workshop. Yep. But um, just remember, you get it, commit yourself, block some time for yourself, be like, uh, husband, kids, just... If you have to wake up early, you wake up early. I've been, I, I'm almost done completing a course that I invested in and I have to wake up early to do it. Sometimes, you know, Fulgence and I are, are working in the same space, but I'm getting my course and he's doing something else. It's just, but know that you purchase a course and you're not automatically going to like know everything be- if you don't click play, right? <laughs> so you got to click play and go through the modules. Um, You don't have to go, um, over them one by one by one, you because they are so they are uh, the topics are there for you if you depending on where you are. Mm-hmm. But I would say there was I forgot her name. What was Spree? Spree. Mm-hmm. There was mm-hmm. a, a a speaker who, in like 40 second, 40 minutes, I uh, gave an overview of everything that's included in the in the workshop, like everything. She covered all of that. It was pretty fast because it was 40 minutes. It was pretty fast what she covered. However, you can then go to all of the other ones, right? Because that what she talked about was everything that she does and all that stuff. But it was so good. It was incredible. And then you're like, you just glued it. You cannot do anything else but stay glued because she's so engaging and so great. And she's delivering the content. <laughs> and then you go 
and uh, check out the other modules that are there, the other speakers, if you want a more detailed um, information about something specific that she mentioned there. But it was it's really good. And then you also can slow down the speed. <laughs> right. That's always good to have. Yeah. You can also <laughs> slow down the speed. Because, uh, you know, sometimes, like, you can slow down the speed on me. If I was giving a presentation, which I do all the time, I'm, I, I've been getting better at it, speaking slower. But... Yeah, but sometimes you know, really excited. We need to deliver some information. It's like, pa -pa -pa -pa. it's 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 your mic setup. <laughs> your mic setup that determines the level of energy. So, <laughs> microphone in in front of you like this, level one, lapel, level two, shotgun, level three. It's like you go all out. <laughs> yeah, like, like I don't think I'm the too different crazy today. Different energy levels. <laughs> I you're level three. You're level three. You, level got the, three right you got the level three set up right now. So I'm like, okay, Fulgin, set me up with level three. You got the level or three. If I'm really excited, I have to be set up with level one. You could stay level three. Level, there's nothing wrong with being a level three. Um, yeah, congratulations again, uh, Todd. Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. Anthony, invest in yourself. You have to. That's the only way that we get forward we invest in our education so that we can then you know accomplish yep. what we want to accomplish that's that's exactly right and oh ag okay 2875 f2.8 1728 f2.8 boy listen yes okay Which i can do that? i can just i have the 2470 the 50 um the 35 85 how can I forget my 85? Um, and that's it. That's, nice. That's, 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 yeah, those are the ones that I, will, I need for my application. Yeah. So who's the speaker that somebody says? It's called Spree. She, her name is Spree. Um, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm on Leap Into Podcast. I, I don't see her her name appearing here. The picture of you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Your picture. Spree. Um, I don't see her She name should here. be there. Oh. Yeah. So the last name is Spree. So let's how about look, look it up. Uh, I I became friends friends with her right then and there and linked. Like, S S S Esprit, right? Was it Esprit? S P R double E. No, I don't think it was an E. I think it was without an E. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her. Oh, okay, yo, you're right. It was with a. Yes, her. Oh my gosh. She was incredible. Her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her. Es <laughs> like, Esprit Devora. Esprit Devora. Boom. Yeah, Esprit was awesome. Yeah, she was great. We follow, follow, follow. <laughs> <laughs> She about to get some followers today on Black Friday. She'd be like, she would know where they came from. But yeah, um, Peter, that was she just would just make sure to just just have your pen and paper and like like stay because she delivered. I mean, it was like fast, 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 fast. So like slow it down or but it was gold, one hundred percent. Yeah. I invested a lot in my education. Now it is time to share. Yes, Dr. Omar, always learning something. I, yes, always. Like some, sometimes I read so much that my brain is like, listen, you have to stop reading right now. And it's time to kind of like be quiet and then implement. Because sometimes, you know, you get too much information. Then you have to take a break to implement and then go back and read. Or read something that's not so intense. You are computer. Yes. Requested to join the Ecamm Beta group. I'm not really a Facebook user, but I want to. Yep. Yeah. 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 Listen, you are Welcome. going to love it. You're going to love it because that the, that's where like everything is tested, and especially you being from the IT and being a woman in IT. Listen, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so are we are we staying longer or, or, or what, uh, Mr. Fulgens Henry? You know, when you when I don't say anything, it's like when you stay long, I'm like, hey, yeah, I don't want to stay. I'll, I'll stay until you say it's time to wrap it up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's time to wrap it up, everybody. <laughs> no. 
it, Especially it is on, a, good. on a Friday after Thanksgiving. Right? Like, today was a nice... You're not hungry? I'll get hungry a little bit later. But I wasn't <laughs> thinking about food. I mean, we talk about food, but we don't get hungry while streaming. We don't. Right. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But now that we're talking about food, my stomach is like, hello? Right. So with that, with that said, <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Moderator just approved Florence into hey, the group. Welcome. Florence, welcome to the EKM in. Live Beta Facebook community. Yes. You're going to love it. So download. Yes. Everything. Feature requests. Test it out. All of this. The great things. Nice. Awesome. Yes. Okay. So everybody, with that, <laughs> we are going to say until Monday. On Ecamm Network News, you can come. We will update you on what's happening in the world of Ecamm Live, world of live streaming. There are tons of stuff happening in the world of live streaming as it relates to things to all of us, live streamers. And also, we give some prices. Mm -hmm. We have a new price to give away. It's an incredible IK Media setup for um, audio interface. Audio interface. Yeah. So, you that Use we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. We're going to raffle that. So make sure you're there, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have fun Go, going over all that. We're gonna show Todd's uh, Vlogmas design, mm -hmm. and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, go back, go on Monday, and find out. It's a great way to meet like everyone in the community that participates. It's it's like a, it's a great little. It's a great little niche uh, in terms of like everybody in a group doing things together. So that is that is one of the best things for me about Blackmas because everybody's working together, and and you get to work on your specific thing, but together in a group. So that is great. Team so we're gonna building. talk more. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I go on my finger. Okay, I'll do that for you, Doctor Mark. Okay, thank you so much play, uh, for being play here. Dynamite. I know time flies. We're over here. It like does. yeah. Okay. Everybody, thank you so much for being here with us. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgin Henry. And you're watching Building Blocks. Peace. Bye. Make Happy sure we have the, the right song. Black closing. Friday. Something upbeat for you to so your fingers snapping. My fingers snapping. <laughs>